All right, now to continue with where we were, that was the problem, is that those two caps came out and the coils got too close to the ground. I think it makes a difference exactly how these coils are centered on the copper that is above ground. It's uh, tuning it. So, okay, we're back up to 103 volts, okay. Now I want to show you again with this copper rod here. I'm going to start putting that down the side and again I'm going to show you the results here. 104, 3, let's see, putting it down a couple inches, 5, 4, 5, so it's going up. Two, five, six, five, seven, five, eight. I'm dropping it down little by little here. Six. Oh, depends exactly. See, I think we are tuning it. I'm not sure yet exactly what's going on. Uh, it does make a difference if I put rods in there, like this. Hold on. If I put that rod in there. Okay, if I have two rods like that and they touch on the top, voltage goes down right away. If they touch down at the bottom of the coils, it doesn't make a difference. They cannot touch at the top. I did do an experiment with all these rods here. I had them taped to the inside wall of the tube and that made no difference whatsoever so I was really surprised with that because the rods down inside there is definitely making a difference but exactly where to put them how deep to go with them what is going on we're, we must be like tuning it that's what I'm thinking we're tuning it exactly to the length of a wire uh, maybe I'll have to calculate what the length of my wire is and what frequency or quarter wave or half wave or that would uh, come out to. Uh, I just bought a bunch more rods here, six foot tall. There's six of them there. So we're going to be continuing experiments right now with uh, rods and that down inside the coils because it's definitely making a difference and power readings will be coming soon and here's back at our notes you know what's interesting is let's see 3580 right here to here we brought voltage and current up. And then we go to our last test. We brought voltage and current up both again. So I believe I can get this much higher yet. And once I do, then I will continue to uh, take some power readings for everybody out there. Plus also I've got to eventually go to uh, BFI land uh, but friggin Illinois they call that or boondocks or wherever out to uh, farmland somewhere to try a similar setup it won't be as good and high with the antenna but I'm gonna have to try this eventually on another location somewhere away from all power lines and that, ho that should hopefully prove that we're not sucking from the power lines. So, anyhow, uh, next video should be even more exciting with even better results than that. So, till next time, signing off, Paul.